We're here at the PrepperCon in Salt Lake City, Sly Still booth. Oliver Hannon, the designer, is here. He's going to show us some awesome knives. Hi, Jeff. Thanks for uh, showing, uh, uh, coming to PrepperCon and having an interest in our knives. We have um, several knife designs now. We started our company last year. We went to the uh, shot and we introduced our Shark Tooth Tactical and our Shark Tooth Hunter. The uh, Shark Tooth Tactical knife was named by Knives Illustrated Magazine in their uh, Best of Shot article uh, in the 2014 SHOT Show as Editor's Choice. And that was our first knife design. Since then, we've uh, created the Final Option Blade, which is a small neck knife. That's this one right here. It's a very small knife, but it's a full tang knife, G10 grip scales, it has quite a bit of heft, and it's very concealable, but readily deployable. This knife can be worn as either a neck knife, or it can be optioned with the, it can be set up with the um, spring clip so that you can wear it on your belt as well. And it comes with all that, right? And it comes with all of that, right. All of our knives are made in the USA. They're made in Idaho Falls, Idaho. They're made by Topps USA. And they're made for us. These are all my knife designs. And they come individually serialized and they come with a lifetime warranty. This one has G10 grip scales on it. We offer micarta and G10 grip scales. And then multiple colors, and then you've right. got blade options. Right. The tactical comes either in a straight edge design, or in this model, it's a, a serrated design. It comes black on black with G10 or linen micarta, or it comes uh, tan and black or tan on brown um, with the brown linen micarta. Can I point out what I like about sure. your serrated edge? Sure, go ahead. It has the sharp, the grind is, is the same throughout. So if I need to sharpen this, it's easy to sharpen. Where if I go buy like a serrated blade from like another company, right? I have to stop sharpening and then you have to get out the little file and sharpen where yours, you right. don't. That's exactly right. Thanks for pointing that out, Jeff. The, um, the design is, is really nice because you sharpen this serration with a flat stone just like you do any other uh, flat edge. Yep. And so it, it will stay sharp for a very long time uh, and you don't have to resharpen the serrations at all. That's mainly why I avoid serrated blades because they're right. a pain. Right, they are a pain. Another nice feature of this knife is the fact that the, um, the, the pommel has a uh, pry bar on it, so you can actually use that as a pry tool or to break glass. Um, it also has a lanyard hole, and the primary design of this knife is you want a knife to stay in your hand. If a knife isn't in your hand, it doesn't do you any good. You do that with any other knife and it's gonna fall out of your hand. So you have complete use of your fingers um, while you're holding the knife. So if you were controlling a weapon, and you had to reload or do anything else, you can reload and you still have control of your weapon and your knife at the same time. You don't have to put your knife down to, um, to, use, to use your hand. And we've just come out with a brand new knife design. We're really excited about this one. This is the Sly Steel Kuma Lone Survivor. Uh, collaboration design between Waisun Johnny Tai of the Kuma Survival School and myself. Johnny approached us and asked us if, he, if we would help him finish this knife design. This knife is really nice because it has a lot of features that um, make this knife unique among Kukris. First of all, it has a rare, very nice blade heavy uh, Kukri design. It has a top saw blade on top. Johnny wanted to have a bottle opener. And we have right and left uh, spindle divots. We have dual lanyard holes for it. And some of the features about this knife are really nice because they offer multiple uses. Chopping 
or in brush clearing, it's very good. Um, chopping wood, you can get a lot of uh, power out of that. And if you want, you can put a uh, lanyard on it and wrap it around your wrist and get even more chopping power by extending the blade a little bit. The other nice uh, feature of this knife is the flat allows you to baton so you can split wood with it. And also this flat and the handle allow you to position the knife perfectly for uh, to be a draw knife. With this design in the flat at the handle guard, you can place your finger here, choke up tight, and now you can feather with it. So you can use use the knife in very uh, small, um, you know, very fine work. Even in the reverse position, in sawing, you still have a very comfortable hand hold on it. So that's our Kuma Lone Survivor designed by Waisun Johnny Tai. And it's in production now. This is a prototype. The uh, production models will be ready for shipment in about six weeks. Those are awesome. Look at everything. So we also have, um, as you're showing here, these uh, leather sheaths are made in Kentucky of American uh, steer that's been vegetable tanned. They come black and natural, and they come right-handed and left-handed. This black one is a left-handed sheath, and this tan is a right-handed sheath. All of our knives are individually serialized, and they have a lifetime warranty. This knife, the one I'm wearing here, these are custom wrapped uh, knives, uh, final option blades. They're wrapped in stingray skin, and I do these as special orders, um, but you can get yours if you just email me, and we'll have these available on our website soon. Um, but this is genuine stingray skin, and it has the same uh, sheath as the as the standard one. So that's something that we should point out, Jeff. The design of this sheath is really unique. What, what we've done is we've created a knife that will stay in the sheath. So if you have to have your knife at the ready and you have it on your bag, it's not going to fall off because it has a, uh, a nylon spring clip. And I've just lashed this one to it for some extra security. But the knife itself isn't going to come out. So if it's bowling around in your trunk, you go to grab your bag, your knife is still going to be there, and it doesn't have to be in your bag. It's readily accessible. And the reason why that's possible is that you can take this knife out of the sheath with a thumb push, but it snaps in tight and it stays. It also comes with the nylon spring clip, so it's not going to break. Another really nice feature about the uh, of the shark tooth uh, hunter or the shark tooth tactical, if you remove the grip scales from this and use a standard uh, survival bracelet, you can create a spear just like this one. So I took a standard survival bracelet and I took the um, strands out, I took the grip scales off, and I lashed it to this uh, shaft and I created a spear. And this thing's been thrown around quite a bit um, and it's very tight. It's very secure in there. I simply split the shaft and did a nice Japanese style wrap on it. And it was a standard uh, 10 or 12 foot long uh, survival bracelet that I used. Then you reserve the strands for other things like snares or lashing your shelter together. And so now you have a um, you have a spear, and you have you still have your strands for other things. That's awesome. You know the only problem I have with it. Go ahead. You took your number one production knife and, and butchered it. I know. <laughs> it should be in a display case. It will be. I'll, I'll, uh, That's cool, though, for a display. Yeah. That's cool. I like it, though.
It would be that would be fun to go. Your son was saying you can use it for fishing also. Yeah, I think you could. You you might want to have a bar bonnet or something to fish with. But I think if you wanted to, we actually had somebody at another show say that they were gonna. They actually bought one. They were gonna use it to kill some uh, um, some boars, some hogs, some feral hogs. They wanted to go do some hog hunting. <laughs> so. Well, but that, that's the Shark Tooth Hunter, the Shark Tooth Tactical, the Kuma Talk, or the uh, the Kuma Lone Survivor, and the uh, Final Option Blade. Oh, and you do you are coming out with your oh. new sheath. Yeah, that's right. This sheath is designed to carry both the um, either the the Shark Tooth Hunter or it fits the Shark Tooth Tactical equally as well. And you can take the. Uh, the acrylic insert out and turn it from right-handed to left-handed. It's uh, Molly compatible so that you can lash it to your gear. It has some additional lashing straps, um, so you can even wear it as a um, as a belt sheath and lash it to your leg, or you could put it on a uh, uh, a shoulder strap and use it as a shoulder rig as well. And it has an accessory pouch for your sharpener, or for a uh, fire striker, or um, whatever else you might want, a signal mirror, that kind of thing, whatever else you might want in a very small survival package. Um, this would make a great super emergency kit. And what are, what steel are these all made out of? These are all made out of uh, 1095. They're made out of uh, USA steel and they're heat treated. They're differentially heat treated. So the uh, blade edge has a Rockwell hardness of about 58 to 59 and the rest of it retains the properties of the um, spring steel which is about a 48, 49. So it won't so, break. No. So let me show you this knife. If you can get a close up of this, this knife has been through this box at least a couple of dozen times, and you can see that um, this is a made in the USA uh, ammo can, and it's a it's not a fake ammo can. And this knife has not been resharpened. This was number 303 out of the package. Um, Factory direct and and it is not even blunted on that tip. No, that tip is still extremely sharp. That's so we've, awesome. We stand behind our products with a lifetime warranty. So everything that we do is has a lifetime warranty. And if we want these, go to slicesteel.com. That's exactly right. Go to www.slicesteel.com and like us on our Facebook page and um, and go look at all of our new products. You can order everything that you see here on our webpage. And we do have uh, half a dozen new knives that we're developing for um, the fall of 2015. Okay. Well, I'm sure that we will post information about that as soon as we get it. Very good. Thanks, right Jeff. Thank you. It was really nice seeing you again. It was nice uh, that you came to PrepperCon. And everybody like us on Facebook and uh, like PrepperCon on Facebook as well.